Hey there! The truth is, I thought it mattered. I thought that music mattered. But does it bollocks? Not compared to our people matter. Gershwin. This is the Mont Blanc donation George Gershwin. One of the great American composers, uh, known for famous... Uh, now I have trouble because I want to say Porgy and Bess, but I wonder if it's Porgy and Bess or Porgy and Bess. Anyway, uh, famous American composer, operas uh, and, and, and other, other music. It's done a lot, very classical stuff, more modern stuff. And Mont Blanc thought, you know what? We have a couple of clips left with something that looks like a clarinet. Gershwin. So, they come, came up with that. Applebaum lent me this pen. I really appreciate that. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample. I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And I'll be honest. It's actually a pretty cool pen. So, let's get started. Okay, let's look at the Gershwin. It's such a big box, I can't even put the, the entire box in the field of view of my camera. But here we have the Mont Blanc donation pen, homage to George Gershwin. This box is so big you could put a clarinet in it. So what do you get? You get this beautiful photograph of uh, New York, I think it was. New York uh, at that time. Um, can we take this out? Because it looks like there are multiple pictures in there. But you know what? It's a set of black and white photographs. I'm not going to go there. It takes a lot of time. Then we have this little flap. And in this velvety material was the pen. Then, we have an booklet. I'm going to put this box out of the way. Huge. Here's the booklet. Mont Blanc always puts a lot of time and effort into these, these booklets, I find. And that's, uh, that's, that's really neat, right? So, a lot of information about the composer, about the pen, about the, the, the things you can see on the pen. And one thing that I wanted to point out is this blue ink window. That blue ink window is blue, uh, that, that, that refers to Rhapsody in Blue, okay, which is an important um, uh, album from Gershwin. So, or composition, I should, I should probably say. I want to show you that on this page, because I put an ink and you can't see the blueness of the ink window anymore, so there you go. Alright, so the Gershwin. I will show you the Gershwin, I'll zoom in a bit, uh, right next to a pilot parallel. So I don't have Lamy Safari right now, so this will have to do. The Gershwin. What can we say about this? Well, as I said, uh, American composer, the pen itself, black resin, and there's a lot in and on this pen to refer to the composer. It is based on the 146 model, the Le Grand, but it's quite a bit different. Uh, a different turning knob and the cap is different, so definitely some, some differences. The clarinet uh, refers to the opening... the opening... sorry, my phone rang. Uh, the opening uh, from Rhapsody in Blue, which has a clarinet solo, uh, so hence the, the clarinet. Um, and then there is a clip ring which has the Brooklyn Bridge. Uh, Brooklyn was the birthplace of Gershwin. And of course, as a Dutchman, Brooklyn was named after Brooklyn, a place in the Netherlands. Just saying. Now, what you can also see on the clip ring is the signature. All these, these great characters or donation or whatever, like they all have a, a signature of the person they refer to on the pen somewhere. So, there you go. Uh, anything I left out... Well, again, there was that, that blue ink window, but you really can't see that. So, let's, let's continue to cover the, the parts of the pen here. We have the Mont Blanc snowflake, the, the peak of the Mont Blanc on the finial. We have that clarinet clip, um, which is quite stiff. Black resin, black resin. We have the, again, Brooklyn Bridge and all that on the on the center band, which I think is a nice detail that was engraved very nicely. 
You have the barrel and then you have the turning knob and the sticker to mark the nib grade. The pen opens up by unscrewing. It does look like a 146 section. <clears throat> and then you have the nib. And um, uh, the nib has skylines on it, which... Uh, so like the skyline was also represented on the uh, album cover of the Rhapsody in Blue. So that that's what, what that refers to. It also has the, the, the Mont Blanc logo on it. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Anything else? I'm just... yeah, no. 14 karat nib. And uh, I think that, that's pretty much it. Piston filled pen. And that's it. So I think we can see how it writes. Let me take the cap out of it. Oh, one thing I wanted to say is note how it is definitely a bit longer than the regular 146, uh, which has a more rounded off turning knob, and you can post it, and then it becomes a, a fairly a pleasant, somewhat bigger fountain pen. I actually found this one quite nice posted. So, if you don't mind, I'm not going to write down the donation part. I'm just going to put in uh, Gershwin, not George either, just to save a little bit of your time. Uh, the nib is medium 14K, and the ink is Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. Very nice brown. Not as nice as, as Bieri Brown, but, you know, a close second. <coughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Okay. Smooth writing. Really quite nice. I really like it. Uh, the, 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 it. It feels very nice. It will get tall. I, I wanted to really use this uh, posted with the metal clip it, it, and the big cap that doesn't pose very deeply. It does get top heavy. So I just want to show you that. But even unposted, it's in my mind quite long. So it's, it's uh, really pleasant to, uh, to use. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Um, fairly wet. Line variation, uh, it's not a flex nib, it's quite round. Um, I would really not put too much pressure on this. It feels on the stiffer side of things. Dot, dot, dot. Um, reverse writing. Yeah, it's a bit sharper, a bit less smooth, but as you can see, you can get away with it. And you definitely go from, a, I would say, medium to an extra fine line. So if that is what you need, uh, this is a nib you can use for that purpose. Now, let's see what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's ho 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 We should talk about the Gershwin again. So what do I like, what do I not like about the Gershwin? Uh, well, one thing I like is that it's a 146, but in, in my mind, the way I, I remember a 146, it's a little bigger, which I like. It's maybe a little skinny because it's long but doesn't have a lot of girth, but that's okay. It works well. I think there is great detail on it without overdoing it. Sometimes with these special editions, Mont Blanc goes quite far in tacking on another thing and another detail and here's another thing and here's another... I think this is nice. It's restrained, but it has nice references to the character it is supposed to represent, commemorate, honor, which I think is nice. I like the fact that it writes really well. I got a bunch of Mont Blancs in from Yost to review and this entire batch wrote superbly. So that is really nice. It's not just a showpiece, it's an actual writing pen, and that I think is very important in a pen. And I'm always very sad when you get an, a pen, especially when it's very expensive and it just doesn't write well. And I can't say that about this pen, it writes very nicely. Piston filled pen, ink window, very important, ink window. And uh, nice nib options, including oblique broad, so you actually have, at least on, that's what it says on the upper bottom website, so you actually have those options, which I think is fantastic to have more specialty nib options. 
What else can I say about it that I don't like so much? Well, there's always a trade-off. If you don't put in a whole lot of detail, then of course the pen could also look a little bland. If I hold this here, it looks like a black pen with silver colored trim, right? There's nothing else going on. If you compare that to the Walt Disney pen, yes, also review, you see that? It's, I think there's more going on in the Disney pen. I like that understated effect, but some people might say, you know, I, I can't even, I mean, I, I can't see what's on the center band from a distance. I, it's not very appealing. Personal masses, of course. What about the price? It's a Mont Blanc. 615 euros and 70 cents without 21% VAT. If you were in Europe, you would pay 745 euros. That's an expensive pen, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's a Mont Blanc. What, what, what would you expect? This wouldn't be a $50 pen. That's impossible for Mont Blanc. So it, it wouldn't be that. In my mind, given the way it feels, given the way it writes, I can see people spending that amount of money, especially if they are Gershwin fans. But again, you're buying a writing pen. It's not just a desk piece. It's a very functional pen, especially given all the pressures resin. It's nice and light. You can use it for extended writing. And because it has that nice length, I find it very comfortable. So yes, it's expensive, but in this case, I don't really want to get into is it worth penny for penny that, that amount of money because we all know it's not. Not a single, there's not a single fountain pen that is worth penny for penny uh, what, what you uh, pay for it, but it works well. And that I think is a, is a big plus. Having said that, I like it. Yoast, thank you for lending me the pen, I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later.